So some time back, I did a video showcasing my four favorite mics uh, from Deity, and this is one of them. So this is the Deity V Mic D3 Pro. So the V Mic D3 Pro is, in my mind at least, designed uh, more towards you know like vloggers and content creators such as myself. So as you can see, I'm using the D3 Pro right now, and I've actually been using it in quite a few of my videos. But of course, I'm gonna do a few things here a bit differently. So first of all, obviously, it's gonna be in the shot. Usually, I would have it. Uh, somewhere further up where it's not in the shot uh, but also i will not be doing any post-processing to this audio recording at all i might just be boosting the level just a little bit because i usually record at a lower level and then boost it in post and of course lastly i will not be adding any music into the background so that you can clearly hear how this mic sounds so first of all the deity v mic d3 pro I'm just gonna call it the D3 Pro for the rest of this video. Now it comes in this really nice and sturdy uh, pouch. It's not as strong as your flight case uh, sort of, of casing like the S Mic 2 and the S Mic 2S, but this is still pretty good. Now in this, obviously you get the mic, you get this amazing shock mount, uh, and you also get a coiled 3.5 millimeter cable. Now what I really like is that you don't have to remove the shock mount from the mic every time you wanna put it back in its case, it actually fits the entire thing together. You don't have to. Uh, and one thing to note though, the cable, the 3.5 millimeter cable that it comes in is pretty short. So it would be perfect if let's say you're putting this mic on top of your DSLR camera, which is gonna be most of the use case scenarios. But um, if you're like me and you're setting it up pretty far away from the camera, you're gonna need an extension cable. Now design wise, Deity has done a fantastic job. There are so many features and design aspects to this mic. There is really a testament uh, to how much attention to detail deity has put into this mic now because like i said this is targeted towards uh like vloggers and content creators like myself uh you don't get an xlr out you get a 3.5 millimeter uh, output and what i really like is that the cable is not built into the microphone so like if you were to get damaged uh you're not screwed you don't have to buy a new mic because it's uh, a detachable cable. If something goes wrong with the cable, you can just get a new one. Now the mount for the D3 Pro is actually a shock mount, not your regular sort of mic clip, right? And it's a shock mount, like I said, so it's really good at eliminating a lot of sounds that might be caused by like vibrations or even knocking. But that's not the only cool thing about the shock mount, right? Now, first of all, it has a hot shoe mount. So yes, you can put it directly on top of your DSLR camera, which is really good. Now, even if you don't want to put it on your camera and you need to put it on a mic stand like mine, it even has a screw thread at the bottom, perfect. And that's not all, right? This hot shoe mount is actually on a slider. So yes, the mic actually slides up and down. So if you can put it on your DSLR, if it's all the way back, it might be blocking if for some reason you wanna use the viewfinder while the mic is there. It is absolutely genius. And it, like I said, they've thought of everything. Now, apart from the audio quality of this mic, which you can hear is really good, there are so many other features to this mic that is reason enough for me to go ahead and recommend it. Now, first of all, this has a low cut filter. And yes, a lot of you might be thinking to yourself that there are a lot of mics at this price range that have low, low cut filters as well. And yes, you may be right. However, this has actually two separate thresholds that you can set for that low cut filter. You can either set it as 75 Hertz or 150. Now, the only other mic I know that has uh, a similar low cut filter with two different threshold settings is the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. However, that mic is almost a hundred Singapore dollars more than this one. Now the D3 Pro also has a 320 milliamp hour battery. Uh, so yes, you don't need to put a battery inside. Uh, it has one already built in and it gives you about 51 hours of use time and about 74 hours of standby time. Now that's a fantastic feature to have, especially when now you realize that you don't have to keep buying batteries uh, to put in your microphone. Now my first thought uh, when I heard about this feature was, what if you need to shoot immediately and the battery's dead? Now, good news is, now first of all, you charge the battery in this microphone uh, through the USB port, uh, USB-C port on the side. Now, the great news is you can actually charge it while you use the mic, all right? So you don't need to have the mic off while you charge it. And because the battery is so small, it's only a 320 uh, milliamp hour battery, you can use a really, really small power bank. It will do the job and you could probably like, you know, uh, connect it to the side or just stick it to the side of the camera. Plus, it only takes two hours to charge it full to give you 51 hours of 
use. Now, if you think about it the other way and you need to do a really quick shot and the battery's dead, just a 15 minute charge is going to give you about six hours of use. Now, I know I said a lot of these features are reason enough for me to recommend this mic, but the next feature alone, in my opinion, is already enough to recommend this mic for use. Now, a lot of microphones that are targeted towards vloggers and content creators, uh, they would all have uh, a way to adjust your gain or your sensitivity. Now, it's always just a switch like zero or two plus 10. Now, one example is this. So this is one of the first uh, shotgun mics that I bought. So this is a Techstar mic, and it has one switch to go from zero to plus 10. But yeah, this mic only costs about 60 Singapore dollars. But if you get uh, mics that are within the price bracket of the D3 Pro, like for example, the Rode VideoMic and the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. Now the VideoMic Pro also same, it only has a switch. It goes between minus 10 to zero to plus 20. And on the Pro Plus, it's just minus 10 and plus 20. And like I said, the Pro Plus is a hundred Singapore dollars more than this one. The D3 Pro, however, this is the first mic that I've seen that has a stepless gain control. So it's a knob that you can go from zero to 10. Now, why I consider this the best feature on the microphone is that a lot of times when I use other microphones with sort of a switch gain, uh, sometimes when I put it at zero, it's way too soft. When I put it at plus 10, it's too hot that even on the camera, when I put it down to its lowest uh, volume on the mic preamp, it's still too loud. So having a stepless gain knob allows me to adjust it so precise, I could even have it between like four and five, even if I wanted to. Now to me, that stepless gain knob is an absolute game changer. It is so invaluable and a lot more important than some of you might realize. Now, lastly, Deity actually markets the D3 Pro as the world's first smart microphone. Now, the D3 Pro has a microprocessor uh, that in Deity's own words, uh, digitally shakes hands with the audio input. So basically what this means is that it will basically detect whether the audio input, like in this case, the camera, whether it's active. So when it's on standby mode, you will actually get uh, an orange uh, light on the LED. And when you turn on the camera, automatically that will turn green, which in turn turns on the microphone. Now, this is actually really nifty in the sense that if you have uh, certain breaks in between your shots, like for example, if you're shooting at one location and then you need to pack up and move to another location really quickly, you don't have to turn off the microphone. Just turn, when the camera goes off, the mic goes on standby, you just go to the next location and you can start shooting immediately. That's Again, a really nice feature. Now, this also causes uh, the biggest issue with the D3 Pro. Now, for some reason, when I try to plug this in directly to an audio interface instead of directly to a camera, it just won't turn on. So I've tried it with my Zoom Portrait P4. I tried it with my Zoom H8. Uh, even Tiru from Random Review Squad, he also has a D3 Pro. He tried to connect it to his headphone preamp, uh, which is a Behringer UM2. It just wouldn't turn on. It would stay on standby. So I contacted Deity uh, on this to find out what was the cause. And they say that, yes, it would work, but I would need to get their own V-Link uh, adapter, which basically converts uh, 3.5 millimeter to an XLR. Now, yeah, they told me that if you use a regular uh, adapter, it's not going to work. It has to be the V-Link adapter. Now, for me, the best solution to this is really not that V-Link cable. I think the best solution really is... Uh, you know, to have a way or at least the option to force turn it on. So like if I were to press and hold or something, it would turn on regardless of whether it picked up a signal or not. Now I know that's going to mean that it won't go on standby once it's not in use and it will stay on forever and probably drain battery, especially if I forget to switch it off. But I would at least like to have that option. And honestly, it would make the D3 Pro a lot more versatile than it already is. So the Deity V Mic D3 Pro comes in at about 289 Singapore dollars. Now Deity actually also has a V Mic D3, so a non-pro version that is only 149 Singapore dollars. Now you get the same fantastic audio quality. However, you lose a couple of really important features like that stepless gain knob, as well as a dual uh, low cut filter. On the D3, you only get a single low cut filter. Now, the other thing is that the D3 does not have an internal battery, you would have to use a single AAA battery. Now, honestly, I absolutely love the D3 Pro. I, I think it's so well worth the money. And if you can afford that extra money to buy this over the regular D3, I would highly recommend that you do. But yeah, I've been using this for a couple of months now, I'm using it for quite a few of my latest videos. And right now, to me, this is one of, if not the best vlogging mic that you can get at this price bracket. All right, so that about wraps up my review of the Deity V Mic D3 Pro. Now, if you like this video, you know what to do, and I would love it if you were subscribed to our channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications on our next video. I'm JP, and I'll see you real soon.